Well, after watching this movie, it's safe to say that this movie has used the N-word more times than Django Unchained. <laughs> and that's funny because I never thought that was possible. Forty two. So forty two is the story about Jack and Ro Jackie Robinson, of course he is the first African American baseball player to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And yeah, we get this decent story. It's not the best story, it's not what I thought it should have been. Uh, maybe a few years down the line we'll get this big I mean big like two and a half hour biopic about Jackie Robinson, but make it a little bit more dramatic. This one was kind of a little bit of family comedic in the sense. It didn't have that that really an edge that I thought it was gonna have. But I still I still pretty much enjoyed this movie and I and I accept it. <clears throat> so basically you got Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford is you know like the second second in command if you will because you know you got the manager He's second from the manager, basically. And he's like, I'm going to get Jackie Robinson to play for my team. He kind of sounds like Clint Eastwood a little bit. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, he tells Jackie Robinson, you know what? I like the way, I like the way, I like the way his character, his, you are. You don't take no shit. You don't like, you stand up for people. You stand up for yourself. You don't take no crap from nobody. And that's what I liked about Jackie Robinson myself. I do. I like that part, and I like the way Harrison Ford knows notices that too, and it's it's great. Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford kills it in this fucking movie. Okay, you want a guy that fucking owns? Yeah, it's Harrison Ford. Damn, he was awesome. Okay, you got Christopher Maloney in here. He's good. I finally said his name right. I didn't say his name right in Man of Steel. I just said the guy from Law and Order. <laughs> But yeah, I, I love that scene he has in the locker room with the group. Yeah, that that was badass, man. And then he got Wash for fucking Serenity and Firefly. And man, he was just drilling Jackie Robinson like, God damn, Wash? What the fuck, man? <laughs> then you got Ryan Merriman in here. He's the other dick in this movie besides Wash because Wash did it perfectly. I'm like, God damn, Wash, you're making me hate you right now. That's not, you're not supposed to make me hate you. Okay, <laughs> I didn't like the fact what happened with you and Serenity, for fuck's sake. But anyway, Ryan Merriman's in here. He's the second dick. Damn, he's getting old, isn't he? Because <laughs> I didn't know that was him. I had I recognized his face and I had to look his ass up. That was funny. <laughs> but yeah, he's pretty good too. He should be. He's fucking thirty. <laughs> I've been watching him since he was a teenager. So yeah, been been a few years and he's kind of grown on me so that's good because if you have if it's been all these years and you ain't grown on me you ain't doing your job right everybody does it good in here but I, I kind of feel the script plays it a little too safe to maintain this PG-13 rating it has to tell you the truth I kind of wish it was kind of slightly almost R-rated in a sense because come on now the way people talk in this movie is almost too PG-ish you, if you've seen the movie you know what I'm talking about if you're in a situation like that, you're gonna fucking use some language, okay? Look at me, okay? I don't know how many times I say fuck in any one of my videos, but it's a, it's a good amount of times, okay? <laughs> or anything, any other type of language. I don't use PG crap, because I'm not PG anymore. I don't have to be PG. <laughs> I, I, I kind of wish somebody would have came in here and you're like, you know what? Let's kind of risk it a little bit. Put some of this harsher stuff in here. That would have been nice, you know? But... What we get is, it's alright. It's not the best, but it's okay. Chadwick Boseman, he does an okay job. He, he's pretty good. I liked him as Jackie Robinson. Uh, he's going to be playing somebody else now. I kind of forgot who he's going to play. But him as Jackie Robinson kind of worked. 
It was good stuff. I liked it. And <clears throat> I'm sure somewhere down the line we'll get a perfect Jackie Robinson story. A very close to the T, what I'm talking about with fucking language and all that hard shit. I'm pretty sure that'll be coming. Because I, I kind of wish this movie would have had a, be a bigger baseball scene towards the end. Because you know they're going to have one. It's a baseball movie for fuck's sake. It, it just kind of came and it went. You know what I mean? It, it, it didn't really have any <clears throat> to it. It was just like he comes up to the bat and he gets ready to hit the ball. I uh, I gotta go with Jeremy Johnson this one. I kind of wish it was a full baseball scene. I really do. From the moment they stepped out from more harsh bullshit to the final finish. I, I just wish it was at least 30 more minutes longer. But you know what? It's still a good movie, and I'm still going to give 42 a B plus. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? And, uh, yeah, I am out.